Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you some immersive mods for Cyberpunk 2077 that add quite a bit of depth and realism to the game. If after watching this video you're hungry for more immersive mods or any other mod types, feel free to explore my channel where I have plenty of other Cyberpunk mod videos. But for now, let's dive into today's mods. First up we have Life Path Bonuses and Gang Corp Traits. This mod revamps the damage system and several other elements to give gangs and corporations more flavor and uniqueness. You'll gain benefits and penalties against these groups based on your life path. It's highly configurable with the native settings mod, allowing you to tweak a wide range of options. The concept here is simple. Depending on your life path, certain gangs and corps are familiar to you, while others are opposed. You'll get bonuses and penalties when dealing with these groups. Fighting those you know is easier and you earn less street cred for taking them down as it hurts your reputation. You'll also get more money from familiar groups because you know what to look for while searching them. And then obviously fighting those you don't know according to your life path is going to be a lot more difficult and they're stronger and yada yada. This mod does a lot, so, uh, so make sure to read the full description if you're considering downloading it. Let's move on to the next mod. Next is the Bikes of the Dark Future Arch V4 mod, which adds the Arch V4 Paladin Sport Bike with six color variants. The bike is incredibly fun to ride, quickly becoming one of my favorites. The variants include carbon fiber, white, red, gold, a sleek blue, and mox versions. All looking very, very nice. For an extra immersive experience, pair it with the immersive FPP bike cam mod. It offers three camera types, cinematic, cybermoto, GP, and immersive. I installed the immersive version and I enjoyed it, but feel free to explore the others. It provides a nicer camera angle, enhancing the bike experience in Cyberpunk. Moving on, we have E3 Smart Windows. This isn't a new mod, but it's still awesome. It adds smart windows similar to those showcased in the E3 demo years ago. Complete with interactive features and stock market interaction. You can find them in every apartment V has with the ability to open and close blinds. It also has a party mode, but anyway. And if you want to use the stock market and news system, be sure to download the stock market and news system mod too. All mods will be linked below in order they appear in the video, so you won't have trouble finding them. On to the next one. Extra Iconics. The Extra Iconics mod adds 16 new iconic weapons throughout Night City, featuring new appearances, visual effects, and never before seen gameplay effects and weapon types. I played around with a few of them and they are incredible, to say the least. You can spawn them using Cyber Engine tweaks. You don't have to, you can actually find them around Night City. More details on the mod page, of course. Here are some that I tested out myself. An extremely nice looking katana called the Ghost Blade with unique effects, a shotgun that explodes on impact, and a semi-auto rifle with explosive bullets that detonate when you reload. It does only detonate when it's in like certain targets or something, but nonetheless, very, very cool. Each gun in this mod has unique abilities, so check out the mod page for more details. I was pleasantly surprised by this one. It is well done, and the weapons are top notch. Next is the Roller Coaster Enhanced mod. V can now ride the Pacifica Roller Coaster with Songbird, Judy, Pan Am, or Carrie. And Johnny is back for repeatable rides. I couldn't figure out how to ride it with other characters myself. Maybe you will have better luck, but the mod does still, like the mod is obviously working for me. I could ride the roller coaster multiple times and Johnny was there. I just, for some reason, couldn't text anyone to come join me. Maybe they just don't like me, <laughs> but let's hop over to the other mod, the immersive NCPD hotline. This mod offers some cool features. My favorite is the ability to just mark an enemy and have cops take care of them. It's super useful. You can also bribe the police to cover up your crimes or protect yourself from false blame reports. It basically makes the police your friends. No more getting whacked when you approach them or go near their cars. Like, you know when they're like just poached up near the car and you walk up to them and they smack you? Well, if you subscribe to the thing with the mod, like you call the hotline, pay the subscription, you hold H, I think it's H. I'm pretty sure it's H. It's on the description of the mod page, whichever button you hold. You hold that and then you can just uh, pay the subscription and they'll be nice to you when you walk up to them. It's really cool. But anyways, moving on. Now let's look at the gambling system roulette mod. It adds playable roulette tables where you can gamble your hard-earned eddies. All you have to do is install a mod and then head to select locations like the Ho-O Bar, which is one of my favorite spots in Night City. That whole street is just really nice. I love it, it's a vibe. But you'll be able to find the roulette tables there. And here are the other locations you can find them. So you've obviously got the uh, Ho-O Bar and then the Tiger Claws Underground Casino in Charter Hill, Westbrook. Featured in the Wakado, Wakako, Waka, Waka, Wakako, featured in the Wakako gig, Tiger and Vulture. Must be completed via stealth though, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I read the details on the mod page. Next mod that I have for you is the Filter Saves by Life Path and Type. It is a simple but quite effective quality of life mod. 
It helps you organize your saves more efficiently by filtering them according to your character's life path and a few other categories. It's just nice, it's useful, because otherwise you're just scrolling for days if you want to find your other save because there's multiple auto saves and I make like 50 manual saves a day. But anyways, the next mod, Bobblehead Everywhere, adds over 15 neat bobbleheads to any player-owned vehicle. While it doesn't quite support modded vehicles unless allowed by the particular mod creator, every in-game vehicle will have a bobblehead. Choose from characters like Peter Griffin, a Max Tag figure, Trauma Team, Thingamajig, and even a Hula Girl. It adds a fun touch to car driving in Cyberpunk. Next, next, the real vendor names mod. It is an oldie, but a, quite a goodie. It replaces generic names with the actual names for vendors and bars, like Victor's Clinic or Lizzie's Bar, adding a touch of immersion to the game, rather than it just being Ripper Doc or Bar. You know what I mean? Anyway, great mod. Everyone should just have this. It should be in the game base. Next mod I have is the Street Vendors mod. This one opens up little shops that were previously, well, not inaccessible, but they never had people selling you stuff. You could just walk in, look around like you're sketchy, and then just walk out. But now you can actually purchase some items from there. Now, the items you can purchase from there aren't always great or anything, but it adds a nice little bit of immersion. Now, onto the Sit Anywhere mod. This mod lets you sit almost anywhere you want. Open your scanner, look at the spot you want to sit, and select Sit. Then you can watch the world go by in an immersive fashion. Pair it with the immersive FPP camera 2.0 mod for a better view while sitting, making it extra immersive. That brings us to the end of the video. If you found any mods you want to try out, they'll be in the description down below. Remember to install the requirements for any mod you download, otherwise you will 100% run into issues. Hope the video helps you out. Subscribe for more. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.